Hello, my name's John, and I'm going to read you a story. This is the Soapbox Race. The sun is setting on another beautiful day on planet Moon. Our three little alien friends, Kimmy, Max and Lewis, are walking home from play school for the last time this week, because it's Friday, and tomorrow's the weekend. Woohoo! They stop outside the local Moon Mart, whilst Kimmy's dad pops in to pick up a couple of frozen pizzas for dinner. Kimmy peers through the window to see what's keeping him so long, and as usual, he's chatting to the lady behind the counter and holding up the whole queue. But something catches Kimmy's eye. Not something inside the Moon Mart, but a piece of paper that's been scruffily taped to the outside of the glass. Lightly flapping the breeze, she rips it off. What's that you have there, Kimmy? asks Max, seeing the poster in her hand. She reads it out aloud for the others to hear. It says, Soapbox 3000, build your soapbox and compete in the fastest and most furious race at this side of the neighbourhood. Winner takes all. Kimmy takes a second to absorb what she's just read. She has always wanted to build a soapbox. And she's a great driver. Maybe this is her chance. I'm going to enter, she announces confidently. But the poster says the race is tomorrow, Lewis points out. And you don't have a soapbox. Then I'll make one, concurs Kimmy. I would give up now if I were you, says a chilled voice that doesn't belong to neither Max nor Lewis. The three of them look around sharply to see where the voice had come from. It was Gavin their arch nemesis, who is leaning against the wall with his arms crossed opposite of what looks to be his soapbox racer. Is that yours? asks Lewis, mouth wide open in awe. It's impressive looking. You haven't got a chance of beating me, boasts Gavin. I'm the reigning champion and like he said, you haven't even got a racer. So why don't you just leave it to those who know what they're doing? And with that, he hops into his racer, which is neatly parked on the pavement, and pedals off. Later, losers! Kimmy is furious. How can someone be so rude? She doesn't even know what she's doing. Well, that's decided. She's going to build a soapbox racer, and she's going to beat Gavin. Without another word, Kimmy storms off home to get started. She's going to have to work very hard if she's going to finish her soapbox in time for the race. But she's in such deep thought, she completely forgets to say goodbye to the others, who are left outside the moon mark to wait for her dad. Kimmy bursts through the garden gate and heads straight for the garage, pulling out her dad's toolbox and anything else she can find which might help her, including a few books for good measure. But the more she reads, the more she realises how hard it's going to be. Even if she was to build an old basic one, like they did back on Earth, with wheels and such. She starts to get a real sinking feeling. There's no way she's going to be ready in time. She's going to be the laughing stock. Kimmy starts to cry. Hey, Squirt, Kimmy's dad says softly, sliding the door shut behind him. Oh no, Max and Lewis, exclaims Kimmy, suddenly remembering she'd left them at the Moon Mart. Don't worry, I took them home, dad reassures her. They also filled me in on where you went. They were quite worried about you. Why don't you tell me what's got you all riled up? Kimmy sniffs and wipes away her tears. It's the Soapbox 3000 race tomorrow and I really want to enter. But Gavin said I couldn't do it, so I came home to prove him wrong. But making a Soapbox racer is really hard and he was right. And now everyone's going to laugh at me. Tears start to roll down her cheeks again. Dad considers Kimmy for a moment. I want to show you something. He then jumps up and pulls down a box from high up on the shelf and sits back down next to Kimmy. Wow, Dad, is that a Soapbox 3000 trophy? You didn't tell me you were a champion. Kimmy is gobsmacked. She picks up an old black and white picture of him holding the trophy, sitting next to his racer. That's right, your dad was quite the mechanic when he was your age, and my racer was the fastest around. When I was a young racer, someone once told me that if you really want something, you fight for it. And you don't let anyone tell you that you can't. 
But more importantly, racing is not about winning. It's about having fun. And as soon as it becomes not fun, then it's time to stop. Wow, really wise words. Kimmy starts to smile again. Thanks, Dad. Now, what do you say to turning that frown upside down and helping me build the fastest soapbox racer in town? Suggests Dad with a knowing smirk. Kimmy jumps to her feet and wipes away the last of her tears. Yeah, let's do it. So they put on some motivational music, tighten their belt straps and get to work long into the night, eating pizza and laughing. After many hours of hard graft, when the last bolt has been tightened and the last bit of paint has been sprayed, finally, it's finished. And the result? It's spectacular. Kimmy is so exhausted, she puts her spanner back in her toolbox, marvels one last time at her shiny new soapbox before falling immediately asleep right there in the garage. Dad is pooped too, but he has just enough energy to scoop her up and carefully place her in bed before crashing himself. Epic. That night, Kimmy dreams of speeding down a hill, sitting in the slipstream of the other soapbox racers, before pulling out and overtake them to take the lead. People are cheering and banging. Banging? Why are they banging? The banging is getting louder and louder, until Kimmy jumps awake. Kimmy, are you up yet? Max and Lewis slowly open her bedroom door. They have been knocking for a good while. We finished the soapbox last night. My dad helped me. You should see it. She's beautiful, says Kimmy, energetically jumping out of bed. I better get ready. I don't want to be late for the race. The race? Max looks to Lewis for help. Kimmy, the race finished two hours ago. We tried to wake you. Gavin won again. Oh no. Kimmy and her dad worked so late into the night that they had forgotten to set an alarm and slept right through, missing the race. How disappointing. But to Max and Lewis's surprise, Kimmy's still smiling. Oh no, not to worry, Kimmy says, remembering her dad's advice. Someone once told me that racing isn't just about winning. And I had the best time last night, making my soapbox and learning how all the different bits work. Want to take it for a ride? Yeah. Max and Lewis both shout together, who wouldn't? Kimmy, Max and Lewis spend the rest of the day shooting down the hill in the soapbox, hitting speeds the neighborhood hasn't witnessed for many years. Quite a few people even came to watch, including Gavin, who now knows he has some stiff competition for next year's Soapbox 3000. The end. Well, that was a lovely ending. It's a shame that she didn't get to race, but I think she's in a very good chance for next year. I think I might go build myself a soapbox racer now. Sounds fun. See you around for another exciting tale from Planet Moon. Goodbye.